Hi everybody, thank you so much for being here. Today we have our silver swag box, so let's get into it, see what's on the inside. Silver swag box comes out monthly. And it is a wonderfully themed box that came out originally back during a time when we couldn't see our loved ones all the time. And this was a way to send them love. Now it's still a great gift, but it's also just a fun box to receive. It is $59.90 per month. If you go out over six or 12 months, it reduces the cost. If you go out over six or 12 months, you also get a welcome box. And with a 12 month, you also get a Viv and Lou cooler. And now with the code Catherine 40, you will get 40% off your first box. So that's an even better discount than we had before. Let's get in and see what's in here. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like on the inside. It says uh, the September box. I love that hunter green paper that they shipped it in. That is so pretty. Let's just rip right into it. When we open it up, this is what it looks like. It says silver spark box into the woods. And then that's what it looks like with our shred on it. One of the cards that you get each month on the back, it has prompts that you can speak to your parents, your grandparents, your children, questions you can ask your spouse. It's just fun conversation starters. Like, let's do one. It is, what is your favorite outdoor adventure and why do you enjoy it? <laughs> I perhaps did not start with the ba Disney World. <laughs> this account. Let's go ahead and make that count. I'm not a real outdoorsy girl. I'm more of an inside cat, but I know a lot of people love the outdoors. So what is your favorite outdoor adventure? Do you enjoy hiking? The mall. Okay, I'm gonna quit answering these. I'm starting to feel a little superficial. And then the back of this one tells us a little bit about each of the products that we have in the box. Right on top, we have the felt succulent crafting kit how fun is that oh my gosh this is like perfect timing i have my grandchildren next week for the week and the two oldest ones would love to do this it says bring the joy of succulents into your home or office without all of the pesky watering this adorable kit comes with everything you need to create two tiny succulents including two miniature terracotta pots pre-printed felt, two straight pins, and an instructional mini booklet. That is gonna be so much fun for them to do. This is from Hatchet Book Group. Let's just see if we can easily pop in here and take a peek. Oh, wow. So they're gonna cut the felt and look. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look at the little terracotta pot. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? And then underneath we have all of the felt and you can see how they're gonna cut it. The pins are in here also. This will be so much fun for the two older girls to do. That is off to a really fun start. Okay, what else do we have? We have, I don't know how people don't edit their videos. You know, I always take all of this dead air out when I'm over here <laughs> scrounging for the next product. I should try and do one video. You guys, it would be a nightmare. I should try and do one unedited video of mine so you could see how much I do away with, with stumbling and that kind of thing. Baum's fried pecans, cinnamon, sweet, salty, and crunchy. They are gluten-free, non-GMO, and all natural. Do you say pecans or pecans? I say pecans. Somebody once said, mm, I think it might've been Paula Dean. Uh, pecan is something you keep under the bed. <laughs> that always stuck with me. We're getting into these. I have been taping and I could use a snack. I did not rip them very nicely. When you take them out, ooh, can you see how coated that is? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of sugar. A little bit of guilt. Mmm. You can tell it's fried. Oh, it's delightful. That is delightful. My husband would love these. The ingredients are pecan, sugar, soy oil, salt, and cinnamon. That's it. Those are delightful. I'm putting those down before I eat them all. See, I edited the whole put them down and reaching. Uh-oh. <laughs> see? I would have normally edited that out, but I'll go ahead and leave it in so you guys can see. Next, we have out the Appalachian Trail cornbread mix. Cornbread is a big one around here. My husband loves cornbread, especially in the winter when it's time for chili. Yum, yum. It says Appalachian Trail corn mix, the perfect complement to a hearty bowl of chili. <laughs> I promise I did not read this first. Just mix with buttermilk and eggs to enjoy. Well, FYI, here's a helpful hint from Catherine. If you are ever making anything that calls for buttermilk and you don't have buttermilk because who keeps buttermilk? 
All you have to do is acidulate regular milk. So you can take like, I wish I knew the ratios. I'll look it up and I'll put it here because this could come up. I think it's like half a cup of milk. You put in a teaspoon of either lemon juice or vinegar. I think you can use either, and I think it might be a teaspoon to half a cup, but like I said, I'll look it up and put it here. Let it stir it, let it sit for a couple minutes, and you'll see, it'll change it, and it will turn it basically into a buttermilk equivalent, and you don't have to go out and buy a quart of buttermilk for that half a cup you need and let the rest go bad. Spoken like a person who's done it like a 100 times, right? So, cornbread, yay. We will absolutely love that. That's why they mentioned it. It's not why I mentioned it. This is Frontier Soups by Anderson House. So by the same people that made the cornbread, it is a classic chili mix. <laughs> that is what it looks like. So we have a meal basically. And if you saved your pecans, which I don't think that's gonna happen, but if you did, you would have your meal and your dessert. So what does this require? You will also need a tablespoon of oil, a pound and a half of ground chuck, ground beef, one and a half cups of beef broth, one can of petite diced tomatoes, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Oh, I don't put vinegar in my chili. Do you put vinegar in your chili? I don't put vinegar in my chili. Two teaspoons of sugar. This is basically the spice and the beans then, right? Pinto beans, bell pepper, onion, paprika, cumin, ancho chili, coriander, garlic, organa, organo, <laughs> oregano, cayenne, and chili pepper. Well, it looks delicious and we will absolutely try it. I love chili. My husband really prefers no bean chili, but here's the beauty of me. I don't stop that from me making what I like. I will make two pots and I will freeze some of it if I have to. Usually his, not usually mine with beans. Yep. Next out, digging down under, we have a emergen an, an emergency first aid kit. Two compression bandage rolls, eight waterproof bandages, one tape roll, one gauze bag, gauze bag, four alcohol wipes, and one pair of scissors. All of that in this tiny little tin. Looks like it would have a deck of cards or some old sucrets in it. That's what it looks like is an old sucrets tin. Does that make me really old? It might. Let me know below if you remember these sucrets tins. How long have those not been metal? That's been a while, right? Okay, when we open it up. I think the lid comes completely off this one, yeah. Oh, how cute is that? So we have a couple of rolls of bandages. Look at this. The cutest little pair of scissors you ever did see. Actually, we just had, must have been in maybe journal junk box, we had something that had a tiny little set of scissors in it that was cute. Your tape to wrap up your gauze, your band-aids. Actually, they're not band-aids. Their adhesive bandages and some sterile non woven gauze. Well, this is handy dandy. I will set this aside. I probably won't take it with me. I think my husband keeps first aid kits in the car because, you know, that's who he is. I will have this around for when I have the girls here, though. You never know when somebody might need to tie something up and just to make it feel better. That is super cute. And it is from Bunkhouse Prepare for the Wild. Arr. Those are the things I added out. Okay, next, there's something big in here. Oh, I think this is last also. We have, I think this might be a backpack or a purse. Anti-theft day pack. The best crossbody bag you will ever need. Perfect for travel, hiking, or everyday use with RFID protection, a USB charging port, and more. How does a purse have a charging port? Oh, look, wow, it's like the biggest Ziploc bag ever. Oh, that would be really cute to keep it in when you're not using it. Treat it like a dust bag. I would probably do that. This is really much cuter than when you read the words you think it is going to be. It's kind of like a taupey brown cross between a canvas and maybe a little bit of nylon in it so that you would feel like if you got it wet, it would be fine. But that, wow, it's got a lot going on too. Okay, let's see what it's got going on. So let me unzip the first one. It is just a pocket that you can keep whatever you wanted in. And then this one, samesies. This one may be the RFID. This one completely has the black lining in it. Oh wow, the top, there's a lot going on here. We have, we have our tags and I think, okay, so this comes undone. 
Then you have a big empty spot here. That's probably where I would keep my phone because you got you could probably access it from the side too. Even if it were done up, you could get in there and get your phone. And then you have a bigger zipper that you can use here. And then this is the main pocket. There's no upper pocket or anything on the back. This is the main pocket. And when we get in here, ooh, here's our USB hoo-ha. I don't understand. We'll read about that in a second. There's a pocket in the back and a smaller pocket on the front side. Oh, so I don't understand. I don't understand. So I have a USB here and I have a USB in here. So no USB-C, it's all USB sized. I know that part. So what's the advantage? You're probably screaming at the thing right now. USB charging port. Connect your phone via USB cable to the external port, then connect your power bank to the internal cable for easy charging. So I'm gonna put a power charger in here, like one of my little Halo power chargers. I'm gonna attach to this and then I'm gonna tuck it down in here. And then when I wanna charge my phone, I'm just gonna put it here. I'm not sure that I need that in my life. When I get into my car, the very first thing I do is I have in my, well, <laughs> it used to be the cigarette lighters. I don't know what they call them now, but it's what I charge a thing into that is USB on one side. And then my phone is USB-C. I don't think it is. No, 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 no. It's a lightning charger. It's Apple. So it's a lightning charger. So tech friendly, by the way. I know so much tech. If you ever need tech support, <laughs> but so I USB and then I right in my car. So I'm not sure why I would add this to the mix. I'm putting way too much energy into this. It's a lovely purse. It doesn't need to be a power port. This is, let me do this back up. This is very interesting though. Just to slow thieves down, which I don't, I don't run across a lot of thieves, but I have heard like in parts of Europe when you travel, you want your stuff as close to you as possible. But to slow them down, first of all, this is close. So it makes it very difficult to get in this. But there's a hidden hook over here. So when you close this main area, you can take the zipper that you just closed it with and you can pull up this hook and you can hook the zipper into that hook. So now getting into this is virtually impossible on the fly. That's I am more impressed with that personally than the whole USB thing. I know it's probably because I'm older and I don't care about that kind of stuff, but that is really cool. And then you've got this really long strap how is she wearing it? Is she wearing it in the back? Yeah, see, she's putting it on the back. So that is another good reason to have that secured so people can't just walk up behind you and reach in your backpack. That had a lot going on. I suspect you are now finding out why I edit my videos. I've gone on about this for about 10 minutes. So if you didn't see 10 minutes worth of this, you're welcome. <laughs> that was the September Silver Swag Box. And I think that was really nice. They have this lovely backpack day pack that you can lock to be more secure. You can do your USB thing in. We have the chili that we can make and we can make with that our cornbread. So we basically have the starters of a full meal. We have our little first aid kit. The pecans that I swear, I only had one of these pecans. And then the cute little succulent craft kit. That, it's very natural the way I'm holding it, yes. What a fun box. We have food, we have treats, which I guess technically is food. <laughs> Welcome to my brain today. I swear I haven't had too much caffeine. We have our craft, we have our purse. Let me know what you guys think. I think it was a fantastic month for Silver Swag. Thank you so much for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. I hope you have a fantastic evening, guys. <laughs> Take care.